go forward with joy, keep your joy bucket filled, and then you're going to have so much to offer other people. When I was six years old, I got cancer and there was a tumor behind my knee and they had to amputate my leg. I'm really proud of myself for like after really struggling at first with my prosthetic to now being able to do sports and move around easier than before. In 2018, my horse actually ran me into the side of a moving train. It was very traumatic, I don't remember it, but I've come a long way since then. I had a really good support system. I started walking about four months after my accident with stubbies. And then I, and I just worked really, really hard. Nine months later, I was on the sea leg force. My husband and I sat down and talked through the issues and I finally realized that in order for me to re-engage again in life and to get moving again and get past the years of pain, that seemed to be the best decision, as tough as it was, and it has proven true in my life. All of a sudden you realize you're not alone, you know, you're not that different and there's so many people like you and peers that you can connect with. I think my amputation gave me the opportunity to look outside of myself and see, you know, people that need help. I do the same things I did before, scuba dive, I ride a bicycle, uh, I just finished coming back from a trip where we were at 6,000 feet and we rode our bicycles up to over 9,000 feet at a 12% grade. It was tough going up, but coming down was fun. There is life after a limb loss, and that's what nobody tells you. The work of the Amputee Coalition has been incredibly personal and incredibly impactful throughout my entire life, and that's why I decided to come work here. I'm really grateful to have this opportunity to work with an amazing team, an amazing group of advocates and activists who are really invested in the well-being and the advancement of the amputee community. And that's the kind of work that I want to do here. As an amputee, I would want somebody to know right away that they're not alone, that we have a limb loss resource community, that the Amputee Coalition has this limb loss resource community, and they can find all of the access points that they need to be supported.